Hello everybody and welcome to this quick tutorial in which I'm going to show you how we can build such a carved wall detail in Shaper 3D. This tutorial is going to be very fast because all what we need are just these basic sketches, a wall, and then some arcs for the loft detail. Then we loft those together and we cut it away from the wall to build something like this. Okay, let's do it. So here's our basic demo scene. We are in snapping mode, it's all on and inches. We go to front view. I go to sketch, line, and I block out very quickly something that looks like a wall. Select everything. Now we make this like a real wall with horizontal vertical. These two lines should be equal. Now this line is perfectly centered along the z-axis. That will be 66. And then this line we make 95 inches. Beautiful. Let's exit the sketch, go to 3D view, and we extrude this out by 5 inches. Go to your side view, click on sketch. Now you see the sketch intersects this body, we have the snapping points, click, click a line. This line is going to be very useful because now I can go ahead and actually create myself some arcs. How big the arcs are, etc. we can play with. I'm just simply demonstrating a process here. Beautiful. Top points should be five inches apart. And bottom points should be, let's say, 45 inches apart. And we can just play with where these points are. We can also play with the size of this arc. Beautiful. Let's go to a side view. Uh, sorry, uh, select a side face, go to sketch, and we do exactly the same. We draw a line, go to arc, and then draw here our detail. Also here again, bottom points should be 45 apart and top points should be 5. Then to the other side, select the face and on that we draw a line. There we are. And click, 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 and one last. Very good. Um, this is too big. Let's push this one back in. This is borderline. And then also here, five inches and 45 inches. Exit. Then let's hide this body. So why did we actually create all these profiles? Because if you select a set of three and go loft, look at that. We can create a surface that flows through these profiles. What is really nice, because in our sketches, the bottom and top value are the same, we have actually two horizontal edges, top and bottom. And then in between, you can see how these are nicely yeah, flowing. So we then go ahead and start playing with these profiles and you see how we can adjust everything. And make sure this does not uh, go beyond. And now we can select our wall, select these details, and then we just cut them out and done. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And that's how you create actually those fluted designs. It's really super easy. After this was cut, we can still continue playing with everything a little bit. Now here, make sure do not go beyond. This is all done with three profiles, left, center, right. You can have as many profiles in between. Very good. These edges are also very sharp, so let's select them. And then we can actually round them a little bit. 
when we go to the history and we go to fill it, we can then actually go to edit and for example, remove some of these edges. Then I can select those edges and round those, for example, bigger. So bigger and then smaller in between and the bigger. Then we can go to the visualization mode, plug on a material. Let's make this nice and white. And there we are. We actually created this fluted or carved wall detail in Shaper 3D. That's it.